Edgeware, applications for an open society. Welcome to the Edgeware Citizenship Walkthroughs. In this walkthrough, we will be learning the basic level of interactions with accounts using Polkadot Apps UI. So let's get started. First, we head over to the Polkadot Apps website. We can see that by default, the network is set to Polkadot. We can simply change it to Edgeware from the drop-down option in the top left. In the Accounts option, we can create an account by using the Add Account option. Be sure to store your mnemonic seed or private key securely, preferably offline, in a discrete manner. We can even restore an existing one by restoring using JSON or using the Add Account option only and replacing the pre-filled private key or mnemonic seed with our own. And there is also support for external accounts through the Add via QR and Proxy options. We can also set up multi-signature accounts. Let's have a look at the polkadot.js extension. Initially, we need to change the address format to Edgeware from the extension settings. We can create a new account or import an existing one. We recommend using an extension rather than creating or restoring an account directly on Polkadot apps, as this does not only add another security layer, but also helps interact with different portals, such as Commonwealth, which is the discussion and governance portal. Once the account is set up, we need to refresh the Polkadot apps to see the account as an injected account. We can copy the address of the account by clicking on the identicon, visibly corresponding to the account name. The Enzyme extension has all the functionalities of the Polkadot.js extension, but also has features like balance and transaction tracking, which will provide you a MetaMask-like experience. Extensions have different derive paths, and hence, you will see different accounts even after importing the same mnemonic seed phrase. While using the Enzyme extension, we also need to toggle the network from Kusama to Edgeware. Refreshing the Polkadot apps will toggle the extensions, asking to authorize account access to use them in injected mode. Clicking on the account name shows the description of the account, including the on-chain identity of which we will learn more in further walkthroughs. One of the perks of being from the Substrate and Polkadot ecosystem is that we can use the feature-rich blockchain explorer called Subscan. We can track addresses, transactions, contracts, extrinsics, and all the essential live information about the network. Next, let's understand network prefixes. Polkadot apps is well integrated with prefix translation, and that's why even if we send Edge to your Polkadot address, it will automatically be sent to the address with an Edgeware prefix also. And all you need to do is restore the mnemonic seed phrase or the private key of your Polkadot account to the Edgeware network and you will have access to those edge. Here's an example of how we can see the common public key and addresses with the different network prefixes from the address of any network prefix in the Substrate ecosystem. 